It's actually a way that I connect with my community. Shot Ahmed relies on the internet a lot. He's a blogger and social media activist. He's also angry after signing up for a year of internet service with Rogers, believing he had a guaranteed price, only to see it increase. This, this is what I would expect from a fly-by-night business, not from a major telecommunications provider. After he complained to a mediator for telecom disputes, Rogers gave him a credit. But Ahmed says telco shouldn't be allowed to increase internet prices during a contract. He wants the CRTC to create new rules to prevent it. Do your job. Your job is to protect Canadian consumers, not to protect the telecommunications industry. The minister responsible for telecommunications, who ordered the CRTC to hold an inquiry, says Canadians need a mandatory code of conduct. It's about protecting consumers. It's about making sure that consumers are treated with respect and fairness. Later this week, consumer advocates will call for an industry code of conduct for internet and cable services. One already exists for wireless. This telco watchdog says there's already one benefit to the hearing. It's done in public. So we'll see the companies struggling to um, explain their actions. And that in itself is a real gift. Ahmed says he'll speak not just as a Rogers customer tomorrow, but for all consumers unhappy with telco tactics. They will always find a way to raise prices as much as they can, as often as they can, until we can't take it anymore. And so unless the CRTC steps in, this will continue. And Erica joins us from Vancouver. So clearly, Erica, some customers and advocacy groups want changes, but what about the big telecom companies? Well, we're going to hear from a dozen telcos towards the end of the week, including Bell, Rogers and TELUS. In their written submissions to the CRTC, the big three essentially say that these issues of misleading and aggressive sales practices are not widespread. They also say that there are already plenty of protections that exist for consumers, such as the CRTC, the Competition Bureau and the Telecom Dispute Mediator. Now, I was surprised to, to learn that the regulators actually conducted focus groups and an online survey, and those results have just been published. Yeah, the regulator asked uh, people to take an online survey. Thousands of Canadians did, and the results are interesting. About 40% of people who responded said that they had experienced sales practices they considered to be aggressive or misleading, most within the past year. 77% want governments at all levels to act to protect consumers from these sales practices. 83% support a mandatory code of conduct for the telecom industry. Now, Ian, this inquiry has to wrap up by the end of February and make recommendations then to government. Okay, Erica, thank you.